Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California, and I am going to harvest off my zucchinis. Now, let me explain to you what I have done, is I removed a lot of the leaves. Let me show you the bucket here. There's the bucket right there. I took the leaves off of this one. This one had a lot of yellowing leaves. This one too, it still has this one. And then of course, these here, I took them off of there and took them off of here. Now, let's walk over here for a minute, because this I do want to explain. I could take more off. I could take this one off. I can take this one off and look at the new growth already and flowers coming. But keep in mind, in nature, the leaves are doing something. Even as they're browning, they're shading and covering and protecting the trunk of the plant. So a lot of times you don't want to take everything off, especially we're in really hot weather. And it is a protection for the plant. So I took most of it off, as you can see, because I do want the new growth to concentrate on fruit. But just think about it when you're removing leaves. And if there's so many of them, the best thing to do is maybe just leave a few and if there's some that are like iffy, like this one back there, go ahead and leave the iffy ones for now. And as the new growth starts to develop again inside there, see this one's not gonna make it that fruit, though you could use it still for fried eggs or something in the morning. But if it, you know, looks like it starts to develop all new leaves, then go back in the next few days and start to remove them. I had to remove a lot of these leaves because worms got in there. So what I've been doing is throwing it over for the chickens that roam around and let them eat the worms. A lot of times what I do is I do have other plants that are there to kind of like let the insects go to those and leave my main plants alone. It works and though I can go and pick them off, I sometimes forget and if I do forget, it's okay. It goes to nature. I don't worry about it. I've got let's say all these purple cabbage, I've got them growing in an area where they're completely covered and no cabbage moths can lay their eggs. So it's kind of like a give and take to nature. We want to work with them as much as we can. So now what I want to do is get the fruit off. I'm going to freeze some of them, just going to slice it up, not going to do anything to it, wash it, freeze it and put it in Ziploc bags so I have it for later. And hopefully the plant will rejuvenate. I'm going to go ahead and give it some Oh, maybe some leaves or something on the bottom. I'm going to mulch it to keep the soil nice and damp. And that will also help feed the plant. I'm going to give it compost tea that's coming out from its own totes because I compost in place. You know it's in these containers. These are the totes. Dollar Tree. They're $5 each. They're loaded with leaves and kitchen scraps. And well, what is kitchen scraps? It's leaves we don't use. That's what's loaded in there. And so it's got a good food source, as you can see. But I'm going to top dress it a little bit because as you can maybe remember, it has dropped down quite a bit because everything is being compressed and being eaten by microbes and earthworms or whatever's in there doing it. So let's get the fruit off. I'll decide if I'm going to take that one off today and I can use that for eggs or something. And then that will give all the new growth that's coming in there a good chance to grow. I probably will take some of those cabbage leaves and what I can do with them, the ones that aren't that great, I can just throw them in the bucket of water that's coming out. In about two days in this heat, I'll have my own plant fertilizer. Right, Zoe? She says, yep, she knows. And then I can water it back to many of the plants that are around the deck. So let's go get each and every fruit off so they will continue to throw fruit for me this summer. So this one I'm just cutting close to the stem. We don't want to damage the stem, but we want to get the fruit off. There we go. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, took a leaf with me too, but that's okay. It's green. We're going to get that out of here. And I might go ahead and trim that leaf off that was growing with the squash. It doesn't need this. And let me see if I'm going to take anything else off. I think I will remove a little bit more in here. I'm going to remove some of the flowers. I'm just going to drop them back. So if I put some mulch on top, these stems will just compost back into the plant. Now this I'm going to go ahead and remove because we know it's not going to grow. And it may be really small, but you know what? Just trim the end off, chop it up, put it in some fried eggs in the morning, and it's still good to go. Remember, you can eat the flowers from the zucchini too, especially the male flowers if you've got way too many. 
Okay, we're gonna get this one off. That's an easy one to take off. Nice small one, but perfect for whatever we want to make. Right? She says, I know what that is. I could tear that thing to pieces. Okay, so we've got that one now. Now this one, are you still waiting for a handout? Yep. This one is a bush baby zucchini. And last year I only got one. This one may have seeds already because this is already hardened up quite a bit. It shouldn't have, but it did. So we're gonna take this one off. Move Zoe, I don't wanna cut you. Go down right there. That's a beautiful zucchini. And hopefully it will rejuvenate back up from the top here because I see new growth starting and that's my hope and we'll give it a good feeding. Put some compost tea. So here I'm putting in some wood chip stuff I collected from around the yard and that will be a perfect mulch for the plant to rejuvenate. And later I can go back with compost tea. Now with the tote from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna clean up the plant a little bit more cause it's got quite a few leaves and I think I will remove the iffy leaf from the back and I'm just gonna drop some of the leaves on the bottom. And then again, I'm just putting down some mulch and this is like wood chips and leaves, dried up leaves and different matter. And that will help keep the soil damp so the soil won't dry out. Remember, you don't want your squash to dry out. Zucchini plants need to have damp soil. Now we're gonna go over and do the red tote. Same thing here. If you remember, this red tote was strictly food matter and leaves. I never put any soil in this one at all. And the squash grew. Well, you are just right here thinking you're gonna get a handout, aren't you? None of this right now. You'll get it when it's cooked. Now we're gonna get this one off. This is really easy. We're gonna, we don't wanna, if we cut the stem, well, it wouldn't be a complete loss. It would probably grow back in another spot, but we're just gonna take it off like that. Isn't that beautiful? Still debating if I wanna take this one off. Maybe I will take that leaf off too, cause this one is really yellow, but I want to leave a little bit more leaves, but well, that's all there is. Now keep in mind, the one we just did is a dish pan. It's only four and a half gallons. And I do pretty good raising a lot of different vegetable plants out of it. Same thing here. I already had harvested from this one and now I'm just grooming it. I should take out a lot of the lettuce, but I'm gonna wait until I have another pot ready so I can put the lettuce in a separate container. So we're gonna leave that right now and the marigolds and the zinnias cause I don't wanna destroy my flowers. I like them, but we're gonna add in a lot of mulch, you know, different wood chips and leaves from around the yard, and that will feed everything until I'm ready to remove the lettuce and maybe some of the marigolds. Now, this is the one that we just harvested that big, long zucchini off of. Again, remember, this is a dish pan, just like the one you just saw, four and a half gallons. They're so cheap, you get them for under $3, and you could do great if you have a small area to garden in. Now, I'm just gonna kind of pull the weeds out and different things. There's something growing and I'm not sure what it is. Kind of looks like an apple tree. And I'm gonna do the same thing I've been doing, just adding in mulch. See the leaves? Just dried up leaves. Some of them are even zucchini leaves. I'm gonna put it all around the base and all around everything. Because as the leaves are on the top as a mulch, they're also breaking down. Remember, anything on top doesn't break down, but anything right underneath the surface will break down and become plant food. In other words, compost for your plants, just like nature does. Nature drops leaves off the trees, and what does it continue to do? Drop more leaves. So the first layer of leaves on the bottom is now covered again with another layer, and it breaks down and it creates plant food, soil, whatever you wanna call it for the plants, and that's all free, and that's what I'm doing here. And what you see here is compost tea. And where'd that come from? From the red tote that was supposed to be for composting for compost tea and compost. Now I have free compost tea from the red tote and I'm growing in it. That's a win-win. So that's a pretty good harvest off my deck. Look at that. I'm gonna freeze some of it, use some of it. And now everything is mulched again and hopefully a good watering and compost tea coming from that red tote. I'll continue to have more squash and the plants will revive and come back really nice and I'll keep top dressing it when needed. And that's all there is to it. 
I mean, it's so easy to garden. Take your time, get some containers. If you don't have a big place to garden and you can't garden in the ground, all kinds of containers. I'll put some links if I can and different places where you can go look at these containers I use because those dish pans, my goodness, they're so cheap. $3 and then there's $5 for the totes or go to Walmart and get the bigger totes for seven, whatever you want. Good haul and her, She's waiting. I think I'm going to give her the small one. She can go munch on it, do what she wants with it. She's probably going to hide it, but who knows what she's going to do. Does she want it? Yes. Off she goes. Let's see if she'll let me take it from her. You want to give it back to me, Zoe? You want to give it back? Zoe? Nope. So with that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.